Morning, Ooh. mate. Morning, Brian. How are you? Uh, I'm, last I'm good. Early, yeah, apparently, yet yeah, spring's on its way. <laughs> it's still on its way, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. What do you want to talk about? Judgments? Yeah. So uh, just uh, going through this, uh, now that uh, Daniel's gone through, a couple of things of interest on his video mm. uh, that I think people really should uh, <clears throat> get it more. Uh, uh, get more lights on the thing. Mm. Uh, the first thing, really, which he starts off, and <clears throat> is this reason why he hasn't got the judgment, uh, and his belief that he can't rule, can't use the judgment. So, if we just start with basic common sense, yeah, okay? just make the judgment clear what we're talking about. And, and this is the latent judgment. Yeah, the Bristow suit. Yeah. yeah, so. Common sense tells us uh, justice is being done in our name. Mm -hmm. okay? And those who've done the course and uh, are members of the groups are very familiar with the open justice principle. Mm -hmm. uh, they're familiar and in the course materials that go through in details all the judgments and the legislation which affirms the open justice principle that any member of the public can get any information with very few exceptions simply because of the open justice principle yeah and justice is being done in your name each individual's name mm. therefore you have access to all the records to hold them to account of course uh, if they're doing justice in your name it's you know it's a no-brainer <laughs> you uh, have the right to ensure that they don't abuse their power. No, of course, yeah. It's That's simple. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay, so all of this nonsense about uh, secrecy and that is just a absolute well, irrational thing. Yeah. If you, you know, so for instance, you know, state security. State security, the state is a fiction. Uh, but if you're using my money or claiming to act on my behalf, you are accountable to me. Of course. Therefore, it's impossible state security. All of the, all of this stuff is purely to protect uh, uh, privilege, nothing yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so if we just start with this, uh, I'll just share the uh, judgment, okay? Because what uh, Daniel is saying, can't bring it upon screen for copyright reasons. I have sought permission to use this uh, transcript of the judgment, but it's an unreported case, which means it's not in my standard law books or databases as I research. And instead, I only have a copy of a transcript which was sent to me, which I do not have permission to use. OK, is on the bottom of the first page, these two lines. This oh, I see. Right. Copyright. Yeah, 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 got it. May not be reproduced in whole or in part other than in accordance with the relevant license or with express consent. So it's obvious from what I've said so far that this uh, is um, uh, this is public information. It's part of the public record. Yeah. Okay. So uh, if we have a look then. Uh, at uh, what are the actual, what does this relevant license mean? Or right. what does um, copyright mean? Okay. Okay. So what we do is uh, we start off, and again, let me share the screen and take you through it. Okay. Okay. This here is a uh, publication. Whoops. Uh, from the Ministry of Justice and the Majesty's Courts and Tribunal Services and this MP. Okay, very recent, April 19th, 2022. And just so people know, this is a .gov.uk website. Yeah, yeah. So okay. that there's the website. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's .gov.uk. There you go. Okay. So it says... And so the, what's this generally about? Okay, court judgments made accessible at all national, at the national, to all at the National Archives, mm -hmm. 
boost for open justice. Okay. Court and tribunal judgments are now freely available from the National Archives. Right. Okay. So <clears throat> this is saying the judgments we have, okay, are public, freely, must be freely available to the public. Okay, the, this free online service will be easy for anyone to use, from lawyers to members of the public. Records will be secure, easily searchable, even on mobile phones. So what is the intent? Okay, so Justice Minister said, as we continue to build a justice system that works for all, National Archives' new service is a vital step towards better transparency. They're mm. doing justice in our name. There you go. Okay, it will ensure... Court judgments are easily accessible to anyone who needs them. Um, so uh, that is the underlying principle of open justice that they're trying to do. Mm. When you go down here to note, ed, note to editors, under the open justice license, any member of the public or organization can easily access judgments for free. Okay, more information on the open justice license. Right. Okay. So okay. this is what this is what that refers to. Uh, correct. So okay. license. Yeah, yeah. Judgment. Okay. What we now are looking at is okay. This transcript is crown copyrighted. What does it mean? It may not be reproduced in whole or part, other than in accordance with relevant license. Yes. Go ahead. Or, with express consent of the authority. Yeah. But here, <clears throat> here is something which would be where you would require express consent. Okay. <clears throat> if the court has said reporting restrictions apply to the contents. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. tell you uh, where there are reporting restrictions and where you can't use it. Yeah. Okay? So, uh, so back to here, if we look at the open license, license okay, uh, it tells us using uh, there's uh, the purpose of the license, what what are, uh, is the Crown copyright about and the licensing, okay, open justice is a fundamental constitutional principle and necessary for the rule of law. The purpose <laughs> of this license is to support open justice. They're doing justice in your name. Then it goes on to what uh, you can do. Right. Okay. Use so this is an open license. Anybody can use a crown copyrighted judgment within these rules. You're able to use the and reuse the information uh, that is available under this license freely. There are some conditions to protect the proper administration of justice. The use of crown copyright, i.e., we saw the crown copyright. Uh, on the judgment, okay, so here, what does um, copyright mean? Okay, it means, uh, it doesn't mean, need to be printed yet on the uh, National Archives, um, but Crown Copyright and, okay, so there's two things here, uh, materials made available under this license, the information means you accept the following terms. Okay. They grant you worldwide, royalty-free, non-exclusive license to use the information subject to the following conditions. It doesn't affect your freedom under the fair dealing or fair use of other copyrights. Uh, you are free to copy, publish, distribute, and transmit the information. Mm -hmm. You can even exploit the information commercially, for, for example, combining it with other information or by including your own product. So basically, what that means is the legal professionals can make profit out of the judgments. Oh, I see. Oh, right. Okay. So you must, however, use the current version of the information as published by the uh, keeper of, rec of public records on the national and in particular but not exhaustively uh, includes basically comply with any decisions that restricts the use of personal data within the information. There are no restrictions on that judgment. 
Um, if basically it's removed because uh, it's updated or uh, no longer valid, and you acknowledge the source of the information, okay, and this is uh, provide a link to the Open Justice uh, this license. And um, so basically, uh, that's the open justice principle. And that there is even in the civil procedure rules. Mm, okay. Okay? So mm. it's not anything new. This is just trying to assist the open justice principle, where supply of documents for non-parties from court records, that would be a you and a me, if you're not related to the case, Okay, the general rule is a person who is not a party to proceedings may obtain from the court's records a copy of a judgment or, uh, or order um, made in public. Mm. Whether I... made at a hearing or without a hearing, it's a public pronouncement of the judgment. Right. Okay, and then there are very few limitations and restrictions on it in here. So, uh, so basically, um, it highlights a couple of things: a lack of understanding of crown copyright, uh, open Perhaps. justice principle. Yeah. Uh, however, hopefully, you know, we, he'll give some feedback to confirm our understanding. But it's very, very clear to me uh, from this. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, so uh, if we just leave it at that for this video. Yeah, that'd be fine. Uh, because I want to try and address the issue of a the liability order uh, again, because both in the judgment and uh, Daniel clearly neither the judge nor the people that argued the case before the judge. Um, nor the judge himself is familiar with the updates of June 23 resulting from the knock-knock challenge where we've been pushing the courts, the council and the Ministry of Justice and Her Majesty's Courts or His Majesty's Courts and Tribunal Services to try and sort this mess out of the liability order, mm. which quite correctly the judge says it's a mess right for reform, I think are his words. <laughs> Something like that. So if we leave Brilliant. this one as it is, just purely for people to understand the copyright uh, in regards to public records. And this is the simple principle. If somebody's acting in your name, you have the right to uh, everything they use and produce in your name. Mm. Okay. Okay. That's it. Blimey. Cheers.